Yeah, hi guys. I just finished watching the George A. Romero classic, Monkey Shines. Made in 1988 by the grand zombie master himself. He's taken a break from his zombie flicks to do something a little different. Swapping the zombies out with a monkey. So the basic story is a guy becomes a quadriplegic after a, a terrible car accident where he's run over. Played by Jason Bagey, better known these days from Chicago PD. Becomes a quadriplegic and he's stuck in a wheelchair. So he's been given a assistant monkey to help him with day-to-day -day tasks. She, the little monkey, is adorable, absolutely cute. Does all these tasks for him, answers the phone, turns light switches on and off gets things for him. But this assistant monkey has come from his friend, played by John Pankow, who is doing experiments on the monkey with an intelligence serum. So the monkey's getting smarter, and for some reason, Jason Bagey's character, Alan, and the monkey, Ella, form a psychic connection, for whatever better word. Alan starts getting angry and full of rage whenever things go wrong, and that's pretty much because Ella is not happy with the situation involving new girlfriends and his overbearing mother. Animosity starts to develop and people start thinking that Alan is crazy. He keeps blaming Ella for everything that's going wrong around him, like people start dying because there's a crazy killer monkey on the loose killing people. <laughs> it's not as bad as it actually sounds. It was quite an enjoyable movie. Uh, George A. Romero directed quite a good little schlocker here. I do love his zombie movies quite a bit. He's, um, as far as I'm concerned, he's the granddaddy of horror. He's been one of my favourites for, for decades. So here he's made a, a quite an effective little chiller. It's a lot of fun. Not as campy as you would think, uh, involving a story about a killer monkey, who is absolutely just adorable. But he gets a good performance out of everyone, spe specifically Jason Bagey. He's confined to a wheelchair for a majority of the movie, and he can only move his head. Um, so a lot of a lot of his performances through his voice and through emotions and just conveying a look. So he he does a really good job in that way. Also stars Kate McNeil as Melanie. Uh, she is his new love interest because his wife Janine Turner from Northern Exposure is that right? has run off with Stanley Tucci. Yes, the cast in this is actually pretty good. Stephen Root also turns up in one of his first roles. Um, so the cast is, is, I wasn't expecting to see some of my favourite actors turn up in this little shocky horror flick from 1988, but there you have it. So the film plays out pretty well, it's got a few jumps, got a few scares, really quite enjoyable. Um, Romero has done a good job with this one, rest in peace sir, I'm going to miss you so much. But yeah, so if you like good horror about killer monkeys then you will probably enjoy this one. A lot of the tension actually arrives in the last part when the monkey is in the house with Alan. Uh, the monkey is full on psycho and Alan cannot move to defend himself. So the monkey's waving knives around and throwing hair dryers into bathtubs with unsuspecting bathing folk and hilarity ensues. So I actually do recommend you check this one out. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit, so there's that. Monkey Shine was actually good. So once again, thank you for tuning in to my channel and checking out my reviews. Please feel free to subscribe. Until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.